Hello, I'm Thomas Reiner, The Lean Farmer, and welcome to another exciting video. This week, we've got lots of improvements to show you, and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite places to hang out. So check it out. All right, so I'm in my dad's shop, and it is one awesome place to be. It's definitely a man's shop, if you look at it. But there's three things in here that are my favorite things to look at. All right, so one of the first things I really love about being up here is that 35 Ford five window coupe. Now this one's been sitting for a while, and this is one of the first ones that my dad fixed up. A pretty awesome ride, and I like the color. My second favorite thing up here is a 69 Camaro. And this car is awesome, and it will fly down the road. It's a fun car to drive, and it's a fun car to ride in. And then the third reason is this 38 Chevy. And this car is awesome. Dad took this car from bare metal nothing and completely restored or, or redid the entire car. And it is crazy fast. Got to, I got awesome suspension on it. Uh, he did the interior, he did the bodywork, wiring everything and it is an awesome car so this is the perfect example of continuous improvement you basically take something at its worst and you keep making small improvements every day working on it a little bit after a little bit and then eventually you get something that's a beautiful masterpiece and that's what i really love about this car is the amount of time and energy that my dad put in this car and it took years but now look at it and it's an amazing car so, I asked Dad what his favorite part about this car was, and it's the inner fender. So he made all of this, you machined it, right? Right. Machined it all, and then behind it, he's got a fan to help cool the engine. Then he fixed all that up himself, and you can see it looks awesome. So here's the interior of the trunk. We made the panels. You made the panels for it? And I made the panels, I laid the floor off and changed it from a, a business coupe where the trunk would have been six feet long to kind of a custom coupe to where I've got a shorter trunk but a lot more room on the interior. Cool. And what, what's that What's that thing right up there? That's my battery is hid behind there and that's my battery disconnect. So you can disconnect the battery when you're not using it? Right. Cool. All right, so the other awesome thing that he did was this all used to be one front bumper that's set way out here so he cut a section out of it he's got the the guard on it now and then after he cut a section out of it he machined both end ends to look the same so just another little way to make it custom and they machined this piece here that goes in the glove compartment panel oh so they're custom handles one's in the back one's in the front one's in the back actually made out of steering rod linkage oh that's awesome yeah, the inside, I love the color too. And I love the gear shift. So you can't have much more fun than going for a ride in an old 38 Chevy. And it's super smooth. Uh, it's still a fun ride. You can still get a feel for what it would have been like to drive a 38 Chevy. And then the thing has a ton of power. So the other thing I love about going up to my dad's is he's always uh, looking for a way to make something a little bit better. And he, when he was working on this car, he was always having to get up underneath of the car. And so he made these special uh, blocks for the car. Check this out, it's a pretty awesome improvement. So check out one of the improvements my dad made for working on cars. He basically built this uh, little ramp that he can take apart and then real quickly assemble it's got little pieces of metal on each side that drops behind the washer right there and holds it in place and then you can drive your car up on it pretty slick and proof so here's the car on the blocks 
And the reason why Dad did it like this is so once he gets the car rolled up on the blocks, he can actually take this back part off and make it easier for him to get up underneath the car. So you just slide that one off, slide the one off on the other side, move it out the way, do what you gotta do in the car. When you're done, you slide it back, hook it on there and back it off and you're good to go. Hey, so one of the things I love sharing with you guys is the, or, or the things that we get to see on the farm that not everybody gets to see. So Jenny was going down the driveway the other day and it's a long story, but she stumbled up on a hen and her baby chicks. And she got uh, one, one video of one little chick and then later we went back down on the way out and we caught this amazing video of a, a turkey, a hen, um, with her turkey chicks. So check this out, you really enjoy it. Stay. Look, there's babies. Baby turkeys. And then after that, a day or two after that, we're, we're hiking on the place and we find um, this incredible find. I've never seen this before and it was awesome. So this is pretty cool. Found a turkey nest with eggs. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a turkey feather. Always something cool to find up here. So one of the things I've really enjoyed about lean and understanding continuous improvement and watching improvements has been to watch my family make improvements. And so Jenny has been doing a great job of making a lot of small improvements all throughout the house, like too many to name or count. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of quick videos of different things that she's been doing around the house and it really does make a huge difference. Just something small each day will, will it'll really change your life. So I uh, hope you enjoy this quick improvement that Jenny's been Okay, making. so this literally used to be called our junk drawer and it looked like a mess. You couldn't even close the drawer. It had so much junk in it. And so Jenny went in and she got it organized, all the pens, pencils and everything, got everything else in there organized and it's made it uh, much nicer to get anything out of there. So this is our utensil drawer, and it used to be so crammed full of stuff that you could have a hard time getting anything out of there. So she got the silverware good and organized, she got everything else placed in there, and she continues to make improvements with this. So one of my other favorite improvements she did, she organized this cabinet under here. She's got the towels in here, and every day or so, we get fresh towels up here, or something that we used to always struggle with and it just makes it a lot easier to go get a fresh towel. It used to be in a drawer and it was hard to get them open and um, just struggled with that. 
and this has been a great improvement that she did. So how many people can feel comfortable showing off underneath their sink? She's got all of this cleaning stuff organized. This bowl here is, she started wiping down the sink after every time you use it, so the sink always look imma looks immaculate. And then the towel that we use to wipe that down goes in here, the wet towel, so it doesn't even sit down there on anything, it's in a bowl. So the underneath the sink looks awesome as well. So this is how our sink looks all the time. You could like eat off of it. And that's uh, something that she started doing, a practice that she started doing. And it's one of my favorites, because every time you come here, it just looks amazing. No, no water stains, no anything, no dirt, no trash, uh, no leftover food. It's a, a great practice that she has.